Fly.io offers lightweight, fast-booting virtual machines that run on your very own private network. And if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me say this like a million times. I know. I'm a broken record. But there's one fly feature that I have failed to gush about, which is a crime because it's so simple and yet so powerful. It's called Fly Replay. Fly Replay is literally just a header that allows you to dynamically route requests to different apps, machine instances, regions, or some combination of those. So. What is this useful for? Well, let's start with the most common use case we've seen so far. Routing to globally distributed or high availability Postgres clusters. Imagine you're running a fly Postgres cluster with a primary for writes and multiple read replicas. When a write request hits the wrong machine or region, you can use the fly replay header to forward that request to the region where your primary lives. If you watch this video where I talk about this in more detail, I think you will be surprised at just how simple this is to implement. But anyways, what else could you use fly replay for? Well, for starters, temporary file uploads, all right? If you're uploading a large file in chunks, you could make sure that all of those chunks get sent to the correct machine instance using Fly Replay. Stateful services are another great option. Some workloads keep in-memory state that can't be easily shared across machines, such as game state or multiplayer sessions. Compliance-aware routing is another really big one. Some laws like GDPR require user data to be processed in specific regions. Fly Replay can help that by routing those requests to the appropriate regions. Now, there are other ways of using Fly Replay, but I wanna end on a pattern that's super useful if you need isolated environments to run user or LLM generated code. Say you're building a site where users can write code snippets and hit a play button to run them. When they hit play, it runs. How could we implement this? Well, when the play button is clicked, you could collect the code as a string and post it to a shared pool of fly machines using fly replay. And these machines would be using some base image that's capable of running that code. What's great is that these machines can automatically shut down when the code is done executing, but then boot back up in milliseconds when it gets a new batch of code. And this is perfect for short-lived stateless jobs. And since you don't need to remember anything between runs, you can use the same machines across thousands of users. But what if you need state that sticks around across multiple requests? For example, maybe you're building an AI app builder and each user needs a long running web server that evolves over time. In that case, you might give each user their own Fly app and replay requests directly to that app. This gives them a machine that holds on to memory, not necessarily by saving it all to a database, but by just having a long-lived process that remembers what the heck it was doing. If you want to learn more about this pattern, I've got a great article that describes it down below. As you can see, this uh, humble little header is capable of so many things by providing a way of routing requests to different apps, machines, and regions. And uh, once again, I regret not mentioning it before. It's freaking awesome. I hope you're excited to give this feature a try. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.